Hi everyone, welcome. It is at this point that I have realized uh, my audio was absolutely terrible, and I apologize, but I can't do anything about it for now. Uh, I have literally no video ideas. So oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the state of New Jersey. I think I made that pretty obvious. And I know a lot about the slang here. So we're going to do a reaction, but it's not going to be like a cringy reaction because I actually know what they're talking about for the most part. So I'm just going to shrink me. Three, two, one. Start shrinking. There we go. And we will start playing the video. Hey, Vanity Fair. It's Chelsea Handler. Today, I'm going to be teaching you New Jersey slang. But since I haven't lived there in about... 25 years. I'm not sure that I'm going to know these phrases, so I'm going to interpret what I think they should mean. Mm -hmm. New Jersey slang with Chelsea Handler. That's me. Down the shore. Well, literally, it means just going down the shore to the part of New Jersey, like Belmar, Spring Lake, you know, where people get really wasted, like that show Jersey Shore. I grew up going to Martha's Vineyard. All right, all right. She's partly correct on this one, but down the shore is more general for just going to the beach. Although, yes, most people refer to it as going to the wasted, bad areas, and yeah. She's basically nearly spot on with this one. Let's keep moving on. When I was a little girl, and my parents protected me from the Jersey Shore, but I went down there like when I was 18 or 19, and I realized why it was better just to avoid the area altogether. There's some really shady sh that happens down there. <laughs> That, that's true. That's true. A lot of a lot of not so you know, good stuff happens down there. Some drugs, some crime, robberies. But if you go to the nicer areas like Wildwood, um, Atlantic City, Cape May, oh. maybe more of the historic areas, the more touristy areas, kind of, it's a little bit better. Benny is a derogatory term for people from different parts of New Jersey that people aren't so into. And so if you come in from one of those areas, I won't name them because I don't want to be reduced to their level. They call you a Benny. It's like coming into the city from New Jersey. It's equivalent to that. Okay, very close again with this one, but uh, Benny refers more to Bayonne because they say people from Bayonne act like people from New York. So anyone from the Bayonne area or anyone who moves in from New York, you call them a Benny because they don't have, you know, the same culture here. They bring over the New York culture. They completely spoil it. They drive terribly. They don't, they're not nice. They don't like let anyone in. It's, it's terrible. Experience so many of them. And it's like, hey, that guy's a Benny. But it's within New Jersey. Everyone always wants to keep someone else down. Okay. Shuby. I would say that's short for a shadoobie which is my personal word for going to the bathroom number two style. I don't like when people- All right, all right this is completely wrong. Shuby's basically Benny, but it's in the South. When they say people from the city or North come down South, they call them Shuby's. Because North and South Jersey are very different culturally, and hopefully they mention that in the video, talking about like different, you know, differences. We'll see it in a sec. Reference going to the bathroom number two, so I like code words for everything. So should do be is a shooby if you're in a real rush. A pork roll, pork roll that could be a sexual term or it's a breakfast item that you get in South Jersey. South Jersey is when you get into the really funny accents where they say like panty hose and it starts to sound like you're in Philadelphia. A pork roll is like it comes with some breakfast items too, but you, you want to steer clear of all of these. Pork roll is basically like an American sausage, but in the north, we actually call it Taylor ham. I don't know if they're going to mention that in the video or not. If they would, they should mention it right after here, but we call it Taylor ham. And it's it's basically like, um, you know, doctor sausage in Russia and like in Eastern Europe or like uh, American not dry salami. That's that's the closest interpretation I have for what you got you have to kind of taste it it's not it's like nothing else basically these things disco fries i think these mean diner fries where you go out with your girlfriends and then go to the diner once everybody had enough to drink and get those really thick steak cheese fries with mozzarella cheese and then and you dip them in gravy those were some of the best nights of my life she's correct this is 
spot on. She's just forgetting one thing about the fries. They have garlic on them. Lots of garlic too. Yeah, no, this is this is great. Disco fries are amazing. The city is New York. That's New York. That's when you want to go into the city. Spot on. You just say, you're going to the city, you know. I'm going to go into the city. I have a client meeting, blah, 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 whatever. Or I'm going to go to the city. We're going to eat something. Th that's how you say it. This is accurate. Yeah, this is good. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Jug handle. Jug handle is either breasts that wrap around. Some, some do. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Or it's, I think it could also be a term for something, not a cul-de-sac, but a cul-de-sac in a city, like a circle. What would normally be called a rotary, I think, is a jug handle. No, 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 this is wrong. I'm gonna put a post of a jug handle on the, um, on the screen, but it's basically a kind of, um, it's gonna be hard to explain, but it's where you have to turn right to go left. There's a jug handle, a town away from mine. I'll post one up on the screen, it's just so you can look at it, and then you can understand, but it basically, it assists the turn, it kind of removes traffic when you're doing left turns. It, it's, it's weird. I see them a couple other places, but they're very common here. I'll just put one on the screen. But I'm not sure, okay? I'm not a city planner. Hoagie, that's easy. A hoagie is like a sub. You get all the other that you want. You can have a meatball hoagie. You can have like a provolone and ham hoagie. Anything on a big sub is called a hoagie. And I don't know why we had to make up that word. It's kind of like doobie. If you have a hoagie, you're gonna take a doobie. So hoagie, yes, this is correct, but again, hoagie's more south. In the north, you do just call it a sub. And yes, if you have a hoagie or a sub, you are going to take a doobie, which is a dump, or you're going to go number two. <laughs> That's what it means, because they are very heavy meals, not, not healthy. So a tomato pie is quite literal. This isn't really slang because it is what it is. It's a pizza, but with no cheese. It's just tomato sauce. It's like if you're making a pizza and halfway through you give up. <laughs> Spotless. Halfway through you give up. It, it, the only thing she's missing is this comes, it's more specifically used in Trenton because that's where it comes from. It's literally a pizza with no cheese. I mean, that's what they call it in Trenton. And yes, it's like making a pizza, but you give up. Don't do this. This is bad. This is not what pizza's supposed to be like. Tomato pie. A ripper is something that will rip through your system. It's a deep fried hot dog. And all of these things are very easy to find in New Jersey. Yes, it is a deep fried hot dog. Yes, you said that correctly. You're gonna find a lot of stuff here that should not be fried, you know. Fried Oreos, fried hot dogs. I think we even have like fried bread, but not French toast, like literally fried bread. Um. There's a couple other things, I, fried, like deep fried vegetables that are covered also exist. Yeah, but you get the idea, so. Deep fried things. If you go down to like the boardwalk in New Jersey, you will find things that are fried that you've never seen before. Bingo, bingo. She literally just said it, bingo. Good job, good job. And a hot dog should definitely not be one of them. And that's why I haven't been back. The boss, that's Bruce Springsteen. And as far as I'm concerned, he is the boss. Everybody loves Bruce Springsteen, but people are obsessed with Bruce Springsteen, obsessed. And those people can be extremely annoying. Yep, spot on again. And Bruce Springsteen, that's, that's the boss, people like him. I don't like simp or follow many people, so I'm not part of this whole simping Bruce Springsteen chain thing, but yeah, that's what it is. AC. That's Atlantic City. And I've had a lot of experiences in Atlantic City. My fondest experience was waking up at a blackjack table with my eye shades on after my friends had dragged me back out of my room and I was up $500 and hadn't remembered a thing. I've never spent a long amount of time in Atlantic City because it, just like Vegas, you want to get in and out before anything too dicey happens if you catch my drift. Yeah, Atlantic City is basically like the East Coast the northeast vegas i the only difference is it's by the water but uh it is a bunch of casinos bunch of restaurants bunch of hotels that's what it is there aren't many casinos in new york state i think they're kind of illegal in new york city so of three places people go rich people take their private jets or first class to vegas to gamble 
normal people or like just middle class either they'll take a drive down to atlantic city or they'll go up to connecticut to mohegan sun it's another casino but most i say would go to atlantic city just because it has more than just one resort of casinos Jersey Slide. Jersey Slide is like a, a reference to traffic. And my father, who was a used car dealer and a terrible driver, did this quite often. This is when you cut across a traffic lane without signaling or letting anyone know and cutting in front of cars. I also picked that up from him because apparently it's genetic. I'm a terrible driver. Nobody will drive with me because of the Jersey Slide. I do it to the right too, but this is if you're doing it to the left. The boar. Very accurate. My dad, he does the jersey slide sometimes. The only thing is he does signal, but he does just go whoop with the car all the way to the left lane. The boards, I don't know what the boards are, but I would say that that is related somehow to the boardwalk of Atlantic City. That's probably... It's a good guess, but uh, this is not correct, at least from what I've heard. The boards refer to the Board of Education in New Jersey because the way the state politics work is kind of wonky. Way back they in the day there was no income tax here and the way they made income tax happen was in order to tax people people would not want to be taxed no one wants to be taxed right so they said here what we're going to do because the constitution said people had to vote not like state legislature we need tax because it's going to be to fund the schools it never actually went to the schools though and up to this day because it's funding the schools we have ridiculous taxes so that's what they mean by the boards Probably New Jersey's way of like shortening the boardwalk and saying, let's go to the boards. That's exactly what it is, actually, now that I'm saying it out loud. It, it's not. That's not what it is. I just explained it. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Exit. Okay, exit is what people love to say to you. When you say, I'm from New Jersey, and they go, what exit? And then you say, fuck off. It's just like, you know, everyone lives off the turnpike <laughs> at some point. So you people are like, oh, exit 16. But it's a very bro way of talking. So no women are talking <laughs> like that, okay? And let's keep it that way, girls. This is very, very true. It's a bro way of talking. It's like, oh, what exit are you from? Uh, it, it's kind of a normal thing because everyone does. The turnpike basically stretches through the heart of New Jersey. It cuts from way up on the northeastern side by New York all the way down to the southeast side by Philadelphia. That's the turnpike. And most of the people are crowded along that one line there. And then there's also the parkway, which a lot of people are crowded along. That's basically what it is. So, yeah. I don't personally do this just because I'm not fond of giving away where I live, but I mean, yes, a lot of people do it. <laughs> okay, mutz is mozzarella, and in New Jersey, they have the buffalo mozzarella. So it comes, I mean, it's in from Buffalo, well, who knows where it's from? It might be from an actual buffalo. I think it is. It's not from Buffalo, New York. It's from a buffalo. But they like to call it mutz. So they always go, you want a fresh plate of mutts? Because there's a lot of Italians in New Jersey. So they have a lot of abbreviations for a lot of food items, if you haven't picked up on that so far. There's a lot of Jewish people and a lot of Italian people. And we're basically the same kind of people. Okay, Matt. Yeah, she got that right. Again, this is another South only thing. The North does not say mutts. We just say mozzarella. Like normal people. Mac machine. That's an ATM machine. We call it the Mac machine. I didn't realize how many different phrases we have, but I guess that's... This is, again, this is spot on, because um, there was a company called Mac. I, I don't know what it stands for, but they made ATMs, and they were so popular and so big that everywhere they, they would just say, like, M-A-C, Mac machine, and people just called it Mac machines. They don't call it ATMs anymore. I actually, I called it an ATM just because I've modernized a bit, but the, some old older people, some of the boomers, call it a Mac machine state by state new jersey devil it's two parts of two different animals one is a bat and i don't know what the other one is maybe a billy goat it's not two animals it's a couple different animals they say it has like it has the head of a horse like the face of a dog neck of a giraffe body of a bat and like um legs of a chicken i think it's this really weird creature i'm just gonna put up on the screen but it, there's a legend that happened with it i could do another video going in depth how the Jersey Devil was created, or you could just look it up because there's already tons of videos on that probably. I'm not positive, but there is a team called the New Jersey Devils, and I believe that they play soccer. I'm not sure. Again, I, I'm i pretty sure they play hockey, though, not soccer. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Go yell at me. Do it. Fine. Wawa. Wawa is like a 7-Eleven where you go in and you get your ding dongs or devil dogs devil dogs is another thing that comes from new jersey so maybe the devil was referring to devil dogs which are these great creamy little chocolate sandwiches but that's for another episode of this i guess 
I've actually never heard of a devil dog before, but um, she's kind of right with the Wawa part. It's like 7-Eleven, but Wawa, there's always a gas station at Wawa because Wawa's a gas station. It's basically the most advanced gas station in the world. It is amazing. Like you have 7-Eleven, but there's a gas station to it also, not just like the 7-Eleven on the corner in like the ghetto of like the poorest town in your whole county or something. No, Wawa is much better. Fat sandwich. This is disgusting. This is a sandwich that has Euro meat, chicken fingers, and French fries on a sandwich, and probably some other <laughs> in a bun. First of all, if I want to have chicken finger, I don't want it in a bun. I want it a la carte. I like to focus on one item at a time. I don't like heavy meated sandwiches like that. And this is one of the reasons I left New Jersey. <laughs> okay. Jer Again, spot on. Fat sandwiches. I'll, I'll put another picture. Huge, heavy, will give you, like, wretched diarrhea for a week. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Just no. Jersey Mike's. Obviously, New Jersey's obsessed with subs. They're obsessed with hoagies and subs and bread. They want to stuff anything they can into a pocket of bread and then suck it down. Di yeah, Jersey Mike's, they basically make subs and hoagies. If you're from the South, that's what you'll call it. They, that's what they make are big in New Jersey. This is where you go to get your French fries late at night. This is where everyone goes to eat late at night in New Jersey. They don't serve alcohol, so it's probably for the best because by the time everybody shows up there at two in the morning, no one should be drinking and everybody already has them. This is where you also get like your pastrami sandwiches, your corned beef sandwiches. You always can get that at a diner and they just have the best steak fries. I need more steak fries in my life. I don't like these thin little fries or in and out burger fries and McDonald's fries. This is where it's at for French fries. Spot on again. That's great. The only thing I'd add is a lot of people also come, like my family, we go in the morning to have breakfast. They have great breakfast. You can get SOS, which is basically stuff on a shingle. You could also replace stuff with a not family friendly word. But it's basically like a beef that's dried and then roasted and cooked. And then it's in a cream and it's all on top of a nice thick piece of toast and you eat it and it is amazing. It originally comes from the south, but we've adapted it here, and it's pretty big. And then you can also get pancakes, you can get waffles, you can get disco fries, which are amazing. You can basically get whatever. You got that? Water. Water is the way that people think that people from New Jersey say water. I don't say water, but I do know people who say that, and they're from South Jersey specifically. S spot on. The way... Uh, Chelsea said it. She's obviously exaggerating water because most people from the north, they just say water like with it's a D in it. So she probably wants to just uh, enunciate uh, like wrong word. Exaggerate that she's saying water and not water or water, as some people would say. I've never heard anyone say water. Then again, I have them to the south too often. JBJ. I have a feeling that stands for John Bon Jovi because he is the patron saint of New Jersey. He's a very nice guy. I've met him multiple times. He's very sweet. Axl Rose opened for John Bon Jovi at the very first concert I ever went to. When you went to high school, when I went to high school, John Bon Jovi was the only person that you listened to and you had to pick one member of the band whose marriage you wanted to break up. So I picked him. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, except I'm not like the boomers. I don't follow simp for John Bon Jovi or anyone we listen to normal you know modern music parkway this is the New Jersey parkway the guard oh, sorry it's the garden state parkway and that's something that people forget New Jersey's the garden state which means it's lush and verdant and it's rural and it has beautiful areas of New Jersey but for some reason people only want to talk about the parkway and the turnpike and they're forgetting the beauty of New Jersey so I'm here to remind you that New Jersey produces beautiful things <laughs> okay uh, the parkway, she kind of got way off topic, but yes, the Garden State Parkway, I actually mentioned that earlier, the Turnpike, and then there's the Garden State Parkway, which runs this way, and it runs through the uh, most populated county, which is Burton County, I think it has like 900-something thousand people, but uh, what she's saying about New Jersey being beautiful, that's not why it's called the Garden State, it's called the Garden State because we grow a lot of food, especially in the south and in the western areas, because the soil is really fertile, especially being between New York and Philadelphia, we got to, you know, spread food both ways. Give it to them. They need food. But yeah, that's why it's called the Garden State. And yes, people do forget that 
we grow food and that it is beautiful. There are some beautiful areas. I'll put them up, but it's Garden State because we grow a lot of things. A lot of apples, a lot of oranges, and a whole lot of cranberries. One of the most cranberries. You can look it up. We make some of the most cranberries out of all the states. Well, I hope you learned a lot about New Jersey, and I want you to remember, New Jersey's more than the show, the Jersey Shore, and STDs. We have lots of things to offer you guys, okay? A lot of good edge comes out of New Jersey and a lot of bad style. Very true. Bad style, like terrible, terrible fashion trends. And yes, it is not just STDs and Jersey Shore. It is definitely not. It's a mix of two cultures, New York and... Philadelphia clash together in one tiny state, the most densely populated, the third smallest by land mass, and yet in the top 10 most populated. It's it's crazy. There's no room. People joke that you have no backyard and that your neighbors are an inch away from you. That's not true, but there's jokes. Chelsea Handler did a pretty good job. I had to clarify some stuff, but um, she did a really good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I mean, if you did, I could get some friends especially online friends from other places. We do other reactions, you know, maybe, I don't know, Machine Gun Kelly in Cleveland. Would you guys want to see that? 50 likes and I could do that. I, I think that would be pretty fun also. Or if you just don't like these kind of videos, you know, comment and yell at me in the comments uh, how bad I am and how much of my corrections were wrong and how much he's actually right. And the boars are actually the boardwalk, which would surprise me. Thanks for watching. Chris, Versal Life.